Well, I guess I forgot to put on uh, uh, stream starting soon, so. Yeah, welcome ladies, welcome. Let's hit uh, 1k subscribers. I'm still messing around a little bit with Streamlabs and whatnot. So we'll see how this goes. Hey Colton, Goofy. Uh, I think we should be good. As long as I got everything set up right. Okay. Yeah, Goofy. Last night. Last night. Hey, H, what's up? Nothing much. Okay, where's everything I, at? I got a uh, discount Nick uh, shit to work. Which oh. one? I'm going to go yell at him real quick. What are you talking about? His uh, light. Oh. I didn't think you were going to do that. I wasn't. And then I said, you know what, I'm just going to. But I'm not going to be happy about it. Typical crier. Uh, yeah. uh, where is my junk at? Um. Alright, we'll leave that alone. Let's get this going here. Uh, field three. It's going to sound a little weird because it's freaking out since there's nothing here and fuel save is on and all that junk. So, give me one second. I thought I could switch. Or not. Where are you going? You're not allowed to go down there. This is going to be a massive wreck. Figured. Well, the release is tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Yes, yes it is. Hopefully I, all goes well. I think he should have no problem. Yeah, it shouldn't. He got enough people testing it. I think he'll be alright. I agree. I oh, think he's broken God. enough stuff. Where is all my settings to get them behind the tractor or the chopper? Should uh, be. What are you looking for? For auto drive? Of course, or for, or for course life. Um, the one with the tractor setting. Where's the tractor? No, it ain't there. I don't know. Is it in the little? It um, should do it by itself. Give me a second. I'm just looking through this stuff. Alright, we should be fine. Should be. We'll, we'll see. If not, you just have to drive it around the, the headland one time. Oh, I know. It ain't, it's not that bad. Uh, Goofy, I did not get to downloading stuff. I forgot about that the other night. Boo. Oh, that sucks, Colton. Um, Goofy, give it time. You'll like auto drive. Give it time. It's just going to be, my best thing to do right now is to shut all these off and just drive it myself for the first round. Yeah, with a border like that, yeah. And it will go pretty good. Uh, oh. Guessing Nick hasn't said anything to you, Jay? Which one? Uh, Western. No. No, I figured so. Don't worry just about it. If he, we'll just talk wondering on. if he was close. Okay. We'll talk later. <laughs> when I'm not streaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to say, I'm just wondering if Nick had talked to you at all. Nope. Today. Yeah. But yeah, uh... 
Let's try to get to 1,000 subs. I didn't share it everywhere because I forgot. Richie, thank you, man. Um, I also need to remember how to get my live sub count going on my YouTube so I can watch this. Do you remember how? I I always use YouTube Studio on my phone, so I don't know. I didn't think you could do a live sub count anymore. I don't think you can. Yeah. Let me, let me open your page. I'm at 993. 993. Yeah, I can see it. I just don't know if it'll update without me clicking it. But... We'll see what happens here. I'll kind of move it over there and whatnot and mm -hmm. go with it. Who just joined? Hello. Hey. Hey, Derry. How you doing, man? Oh, hey. I'm full. Thank God course plate tells you that. I'm good. Just doing. Yeah? How's that going? Uh... School is driving me up the wall. <laughs> Always something going on. Yeah. That's for sure. What do you mean, already? He's been back for like how long? You're the only one that has, uh, had I've been back now. for three it, weeks? Yeah, three I was weeks? just gonna yeah. say. Hey, Justin, how you doing, man? I've got my first exam Friday. Alrighty. Yeah, first exam, which is super early. But I was gonna say. Yeah. Well, our um our first textbook was really a small book, so he wants to go in, quiz us on that or whatever. Oh. Get it over with, basic basically. So. Yeah. <laughs> Finally gonna leave Leona, huh? And go right Cries. back. And go right back at that. Because he'll <laughs> mole farm him. Uh, Chris, I think you forgot up. What's up, boss? Right? <laughs> I ain't nobody's boss right now. I'm off work. <laughs> yeah, you're boss all day. You don't need to be it any longer. Oh, man. You're not wrong there. There you go. Hey, Chase, how you doing, man? Come on, go. All in butt here. Uh, what do I got going on? I thought I had... Give it a little tippy tap. Chat, are you guys hearing the music too loud or what? Every time I click out a game to mess with stuff, that's why the game goes away. But I was just wondering how the music is, because I don't hear it very much on my side. I'm trying this whole new thing of quote unquote Streamlabs music. So, since I can't hear it, you guys are gonna have to tell me if it sucks or not. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's better than my normal two hour, three hour playlist that I downloaded from YouTube for free play music, so. Oh, fair chase. I just try to do it for like, especially lately I've had people in VC with me to talk, but sometimes I don't, so. I gotta try to turn this train around now. Ugh. Just crank her. It's a bit of an operation getting that thing around. Yeah, she's a long semi. But I'd have it no other way. Uh-huh, sure. I do gotta turn the speed down because she's gonna be flying around the map like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was... I think Benny was the one that said that the, uh train was a little bumpy on your MRV. Hmm. So I was doing like 200 miles an hour <laughs> on the road to see how far I would actually, you know, be fl 
too slung. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So the roads are fine. I think the roads are fine too. Excuse me. Yeah. My sweet tea's kicking in and I'm getting the hiccups. But um, I should say my twisted tea, not sweet tea. But no, um, the roads to me feel fine. Mm -hmm. They feel rough like a gravel road really is. No gravel road is smooth like a highway. And that's one little part of it that I don't know how he got it. I think it was the original from 17. But I kind of like that touch without liking that touch. Because mm -hmm. I like the smooth roads, but I like the feel yet. With 22, they give you that. This field is smooth but you're still bouncing. They gave you that little bit on certain paint layers and everything. But, um, yeah. Chris, nice to, to your... hold on, Chris, the, to answer your question there, I'm definitely staying on my edit. We got, H has got a lot done already this week and you guys will see the edit. I'm going to throw it out there right now. So all of you know, I will not share my edit as of right now. That yeah. is one thing I'm not going to do. DJ needs his time with the map, so I don't even want to hear about it or have you guys ask about it just out of respect for DJ. Later on and... down the road, if something comes up that I feel like sharing it with you guys, you'll definitely see that. I'll make a big post about it and let you guys know. But And I... it's more than just you. It's all of us. All, what, three of us? Or is it four technically now? kind of working on this uh right now you i and western so far are the only three in it and then well i guess nick as well the other nick legacy with his uh his yeah what's his so yeah so it's it's, uh, it's a lot of permissions is the thing it's not even i mean i'm one of those I, i'm a modder and everybody should know after watching my streams I can't leave anything alone. There, it's just beyond me. I can't just play the game. So with that being said, out of respect, because I do live stream and I do uh, edit maps and everything, I'm not going to share it when it's not originally mine. And that is the respect we need to get back into the community. If you do an yeah. edit, reach out. And most of the time they'll say, yeah, I don't care. Give proper permissions. But right now this map's not even released, so. No. And I think I think DJ deserves to have the map simmer on his end and have his version. And let that be the main version for a long time, if you ask me. Yeah. I think he deserves all the credit in this. It's a yes. wonderful map. But me and you are very much the same. We gotta fiddle with stuff for some reason i don't know yeah and That's just modern syndrome it, it is yeah. it's there's nothing's ever I, i'm that type of guy i could go out and buy a brand new pickup nothing wrong with it but it's still not good enough for me it's my taste and style is that i have to get it to be my way now that same thing for me when I'm modding and I'll do the same to anything I mod a building a tractor a truck whatever I gotta piddle with it until I like it and I want to use it every day but I think you guys need to share or need to take in on DJ and what he has and fulfill uh, the map to where it's going to be because goofy I know the silos are not the exact ones you would use or you would build but you guys can grab the one that you can build your own farm on build a couple farms I should do up a video show you how to build up a couple farms and then you can go through your placeables and turn it to the point oh hey then you could turn it to the point that uh, you could put it through your placeable XML and it would actually Oops. It actually keep a couple of those farms there. Maybe I should go through a video sometime and show you guys that. Oh, come on. There it is. But, um... What... I think you guys are going to enjoy 
DJ's version. Anyways, it's still UMRV. So it, it, we got all the buildings, man. All I did was a color. all the other farms move things around to his style and somewhat of what we have discussed and he has been repainting doing foliage changes and everything else it's it's going to be umrv but it's going to only be umrv by the town and fields be a bit more realistic take on what dj put together i can't even it, I don't want to say that myself because DJ does what he knows. But is it more realistic or is it just a different style? Because well, I mean, in res I mean, in respect to things like uh, uh, the harvest stores, how those were set up in the freestall barns, having the gates taken out and stuff like that. Correct. I, 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 I get what you mean. I don't want to put down his style of modding. But, oh yeah, definitely not. But at the same time, it's not what I would do, so... Oh god, I gotta catch up on chat. Ha! <laughs> Justin, yeah, I, I hear you, man. I'm just glad I'm in winter hours yet, but it's coming. I'll be back to 12 before you know it, too. I'm, I'm trying really hard to hold off on it, but I don't think I'm going to win. So I will be hitting the 12-hour day mark again. And probably six, seven days a week before you know it. I just... Ooh. My biggest thing is work. I might not be working a buttload of hours right now, but work is getting to the critical point at what I'm doing. I'm actually, I'm not going to go into detail on it, but I got to start thinking about work more than just uh, going to work. So that's kind of where I am mean by work is getting hectic and everything. I forgot to take the weights off. All right, all right. I got to remember not to park too close because Legacy made this too realistic. And the tall guy can't fit down here all the time. All right, where is? I forgot I was in the pit. Yeah. I was good about that. Because I, I was using that first. barn or that building on Midwest, and I could never get the trigger to work. I thought it was a computer around the corner at first, and I'm like, what the too. heck? Yeah, me I did too. too. 
then you pull up and you're like, huh, that's not it. And then you have to turn on your info markers and you're like, uh, my tractor's broken. How do I get down there? Yeah. Um, Chris, honestly, GE is pretty simple. Go through, read the help. Once you download G GE from GDN, the Giants Developer Network, once you download it, open it up. There will be a little help icon on the top bar. Click that, read a little bit on like how to move and how to do a few things. Once you figure out how to move, go click on something that you want to delete. And this map is actually pretty simple. You're not going to mess too much up because the triggers are in through the placeable XML that you can just click delete. So it's going to be YouTube and documentation will be your best friend in this one if you never use GE. But what is GE? <laughs> oh, sorry, Suzette. Um, I'm a foreman at a heavy earth or earth moving company, foreman, supervisor, whatever the heck you want to say. So I watch or AKA babysit a bunch of people running heavy equipment all day. You make it sound way more boring than it actually is. Uh, it is way boring. I sit in a truck until next week. Next week it's going to be, I got to get the GPS rover out. I got to look at my coordinates, the elevation. I actually got to do something, put it that way. Yeah, but getting to watch things explode is kind of fun. Don't lie to me. Goofy, there's a level B road as you come out of the farm that has the stones on it. Then there's that one little road that goes from the... First uh, farm, I think is what it is in GE. Yeah, first farm down to the uh, little bend site that has rocks on it. And then there is one other road I found and I can't remember where. It is to the timber on the far side of the map. Not on the Wisconsin side, but on the... Uh far side of the Iowa yeah once once you find them in the transform group I usually click through that transform group to see where everything is it'll highlight it it'll bring up your little uh, arrows to move them around and everything like that the best thing I can say is when you get the map you're gonna download the zipped file never delete that zip file or you could go re-download it if you wanted to. Usually what I do is I hold on to that zip file in my downloads folder for a long time, just in case I mess something up when I first mess with it. And you can always come back, uh, re-unzip it and start over, start fresh. And then the other thing is right away before you open it in GE, rename it. UMRV edit or edit to or something like that just rename it so that way you know what you're messing with at all times don't put the zip folder in your mods folder though I caught myself I battled that legacy shop for about a week before I realized I had a zip folder in there oh that one is so irritating smack to the head I was a little upset when I found it. No. Okay, what the heck is going on? Oh, hey, where? Yeah, somebody told me that. Told you what? Semi was in the ditch. Auto drive at its best. Uh, Goofy, since it comes out tomorrow, I'm going to let you see them tomorrow. You can go through your map. Drive, just take a drive through the map. Put it in your mods folder, take a drive around, take it back out of the map, then go into G and do it. <laughs> nice, Colton. I hope you didn't get too mean. No, Colton, it's 4X map. That's the worst part. You need to 
buy a PC, man. It's the only way. I wish I could get some stuff on Xbox like this, but I, they say there's no reason you couldn't put a 4X map on Xbox, but I call BS, and I almost guarantee there is a reason you can't. What are you doing there, guy? It's because uh, auto drive will always try and come to grab a load. It'll only recognize other auto drive drivers oh, I know at it the will. combine. <laughs> I knew that. I was just giving shit. <laughs> uh, um, I need a nap. That's what I need. Suzette, uh, no, it won't be on the mod hub. He's going to have it on his Facebook page or does he have itch i think he has itch doesn't he yes pretty sure he does he'll post so. on it on facebook and it'll be in his itch too so and 50 different people will share it i'm sure oh yeah all the big streamers you won't miss it. all the big streamers have it they'll be streaming on it sharing it and everything else yeah i was supposed to make a facebook post today that didn't happen Colton, what I can tell you to do, man, go get yourself a laptop. It doesn't need to be a gaming laptop, quote unquote. Uh, no, no, no. listen. The gaming name is just a stupid name so they can add more to it. I have a laptop, seriously, with an i7 processor in it and a 1050. If all you're but... doing is playing the game, you'll be fine you're looking at um for this game you want a decent gpu so i went and priced my same laptop i have to the current laptop and it was about i want to say 800 to a thousand depending on what sites you looked at and it has a 2050 in it now so it will push farm sim depending on how many mods you have and depending on what hard drive you put it on and depending on how much ram you have you want a decent amount of ram so try to find something that has enough and that will get you so you're good on the road and i mean my laptop i could hook up to a tv pretty easy with a hdmi cable and really all i did was i'd hook that up to the tv and um, play using a controller back when I worked on the road in and out of hotels all the time until I got the steering wheel. Yeah, I, w I would just wouldn't tell them to not get a quote unquote gaming PC because someone will go out and buy your standard run of the mill PC not knowing what to do. Right, that's yeah. why I went into a little more detail, but the gaming yeah. is also one of those, hey, I, I got a gaming PC. Okay, that's going to be great for any game, but really it's an i5 with a 1050. Yeah, it, quote unquote gaming of back in, what, 10 years ago? 2015, probably. So, oh, wow, that's eight years ago. Jesus fuck. Um, Chris, I haven't really dabbled around a whole lot. Uh, your FPS is going to be restricted by a monitor not help with getting better fps better fps comes from your cpu gpu and ram and i found h uh, recommended it i shut a lot of my other apps down on my computer when i wasn't getting very good fps i was able to climb uh five fps by closing all my apps behind it and then my other issue was I had my game and mods on my second hard drive, which was a HDD. And if I would have left it on my SDD hard drive, which is faster, it would run better. So th there's just a few things that I found here and there. Yeah, pickaxe. That's that's what I'm talking about. And I mean, I'm sure you're getting pretty decent. It all it really depends on your mods. It depends on what map you're running. Are they optimized 
are they running good what's the rendering rate and that stuff too so you got to kind of watch what mods you download and whatnot that's farmalls that's what i'm saying that i mean same thing it's <laughs> that's a little excessive h what was your high number of mods the last time i asked you uh i will tell you right now give me a second so we are down a little bit but currently sitting at 929 i was at like 1300 that that's what I thought. 1300. I knew it was some ridiculous no. number. Holy Not a ridiculous cow. number. No, are all those mods good? Fuck no. That's that's what I'm getting at, Farmalls. That's one thing you might want to do. There's some mods with errors in them that I couldn't live without. Am I too lazy to fix them? Yes. Like that uh, MX I'm using, it has a few uh, warnings. More for build yeah, type and Tyson, stuff. But... Tyson never got around to actually finishing that. Correct. But the errors lua call stacks that's what hurts your game errors and lua, lua call stacks a lot of warnings will hinder it too but i mean you're getting a lot of warnings there's bigger problems you'll notice yeah yeah like one lua warning isn't so bad it's when you have a call stack that just goes on so a lua error is okay if it's only one a lua call stack means it's constantly repeating now it, i don't know the best way to explain that but just essentially think about something like is constantly uh hindering your car engine you know the fuel pump is working but it ain't running the right psi i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but it's just constantly there and that will hurt your fps and everything too all right, you stupid silage pile. Yeah, that looks much better, Gary. Yeah, Suzette, I have looked at it. Goofy, you're pushing a lot of stuff with errors. <laughs> I don't think there's 1,300 mods out there. Well, I don't know what's on Mod Hub, but I don't hardly download stuff on Mod Hub anymore. And a lot of stuff on Mod Hub isn't even worth downloading. Depends how you play. Yeah, I guess if you've got a European, a Brazilian, and a American state going, it's that's all good. Right. But usually what I do, I mean, in 22, I was a little more picky about what I download. And right now, I'm on all North American maps. So I don't have any of the European stuff downloaded. I don't have all the DLCs downloaded either. And I think I'm still floating right around 520, 550 mods. Yeah, I think 500 is a good number there currently. The, oh. if, you took, if you took everyone's stuff in the community, it probably adds up to that number. I agree. And when I go to do a server, uh, the last server I uploaded mods to, it cleared 200 pretty quick. Just because I was like, well, I might use this. I kind of want to use this. Sure, let's have this just because. Yep. Um, speaking of which, I gotta get you a list at some point. I ain't too worried about it. Uh... It won't happen this weekend. It'll be next week before I get everything uploaded yeah. and figured out. You don't know if you're even going to have time in a uh, month or so, are you? It would be mainly weekends. That's why I'm streaming mm -hmm. like no other. I want to get to 1K subs before the weekend. <laughs> and then just drop like a box of rocks. Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm messing with you. <laughs> no, um, I, the way I see it is I want to push this week because I know I got a decent amount of time on my hands. After this yeah. week, who knows what happens. But uh, I'm going to try to continue to do, if I can't stream, I'm going to try to continue to do my videos for you guys. 
and hopefully by i'll say h by next weekend if everything went 100 percent according to my plan by next weekend we might have the server up yep hopefully we have at least a a working version of our two combined eventually here yes because i will be gone all day sunday i tell the boy to drop out of wrestling well that's that's the other thing it's already february guys don't forget valentine's day is coming up soon don't forget <laughs> i almost forgot i was like oh god it's february what day is it oh it's only the second good i got a little time <laughs> legacy to forget again legacy i said that <laughs> last night not tonight i said that last night you little sh oh my god i got a mess going on with auto drive Joke. auto drive is like hey watch this yeah no kidding Is that uh, Nick's box? Yeah. Nice. I'll have to get you guys to see the animations at some point in time. He did an awesome job with these uh, animations on the back gate and everything. Yeah, I've been needing to get a truck together for that. I don't know which one to use, though that's what i struggled with too and probably 82 is what i'm thinking of doing um tam half-ass modding mm -hmm. has a nice peterbilt in kenworth i haven't tested it to see if you can stretch the frame long enough to make it work but you, you can, can i think you can because there's the triple dri uh there's a tri drive in there yep i might also yeah. do a uh western star since I have that now. That would be kind of different. Uh, Legacy, that's a YouTube problem. Not a I problem, not a you problem. YouTube, they're a day late. Hour short? Oh, he just seen today that I had that one. I'm not streaming tonight. Well, look at the date, damn it. He's an old man. Come on now. <laughs> it's not that good. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? Yeah, I hit him with glasses. It's all YouTube's fault, man. Oh, you know what I heard? Alright, so my rock radio station up here uh, mm -hmm. does, uh, what the hell do they call it? Dumbass of the day or something? No. <laughs> I can't, it, it's something down that line, and I can't remember the correct term that, or the wording they use for radio, but I didn't realize a lady over in Japan, like, did a live on TikTok or YouTube of her eating a white, or a great white shark meat, and I guess that's illegal to do over in Japan. They find, oh. yeah, they found, or they found her. Took the or confiscated the meat and then um, sent it in for testing. Confirmed it was great white. And since she filmed herself doing it live, they could get her for it. Find her eighteen thousand dollars, and she Holy posted cow. about she posted who she got it from too. So now they're going after them. Oh, never selling to her again. Uh, well, it was a black market deal, and I'm like, uh, if I would have seen that live, I would have been, huh. Gone. I'd have been gone, man.
that was released. Oh, really? Where? Um, that was in PE Farms. Oh, never heard of them. Uh, it's kind of a private-ish group, I guess. It's um, okay. Ross's group, I think. I'll oh. send it over to you. Yeah, because I had no you. intentions on really going back to the TG I got. Yeah, I didn't think so. And it, it may, you got me thinking. Mm -hmm. Maybe I uh, will I, run an all blue farm on the server. Yeah, I kind of want to use it, maybe. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It, it got the American wheels on it and stuff. Mm hmm. It's been nice. nice. It's definitely not. It's not bad at all. Paul, you need I'm to go to bed. To, <laughs> I'm gonna have to foil your plans then, Squatch. What? I'm gonna have to get this 8,000 done. You, you, you better hurry up. up. Yeah, it's down to the nitty gritty where it's hard to find the initiative to do it with everything else I could be doing. Oh, I get it. I get it. But. You get that 8,000 done, yeah, I'll use it. A blue farm with one 8,000 series tractor on it. <laughs> and they'll always, always claim back when gear was better. <laughs> <laughs> Where I, to God, that's, that's how it always is. I don't, I honestly can say I don't like their new tractors past the, no. uh, what was that, the 20 series? series? I don't like the 30. I I don't like the looks of the 30 series. That's really. 30 I, series are just odd. I, I always found the 20 series odd. I don't know. I like the look of the more square. Even on my vehicles, if it, the more square, the cleaner it looks in my mind. I don't like all the rounded faces and corners and slopes here and there. It's just I guess the era I grew up in, honestly. I mean, yeah, I I'm in the same boat. I consider the uh, the 30 series kind of the last tractor I really like. Other than maybe the 7R, I don't hate the 7R. 7R I've always liked. Yeah, I've always liked that styling. 6R done as, as well. It's not bad, but the 8Rs I've just never cared for. See, for me, the 8000s, <laughs> uh, 8010, 8020. Uh, I, I, I like those, but the 30 series and the early 8Rs really mm -hmm. couldn't get myself to like them. But I love the second gen 8Rs. All fair. Colton, I can say I've honestly never ran any chromes or any of that sort. I'm not an Apple guy except for my cell phone, which I still don't know why I'm an Apple guy there. But um, Legacy, I don't want to hear it. You can stay over there in your Canadian group and uh, keep going for the uh, airplane hangers and whatnot. <laughs> Last I checked, that's still not finished. No, no. Yeah. I don't need equipment that takes years to finish. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the only airplane hanger I'll use, Legacy. Well... Let me take that back. That's a big commodity shed. I don't have enough uh, feed to fill it. The whole map that you need. Yeah. Also, Squatch has a commodity shed in the foreground of his... or background of his stream. We don't talk about oh, that. Oh, no. No, the one Legacy is talking about is like five times that. Oh, bigger than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Very yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Um, I can't remember. Legacy, I'm pretty sure the building you sh said was built by somebody before you in one of the 19s, and I can't remember who built it. It was never public, though. Maybe it was. I can't remember. Possibly. I can't remember. I've seen it around more than just the YouTube video. I could be wrong, though. Don't hold your breath, because you're not going to find out. Alright. Uh, what 
do I got going on? Uh, just the way I set my field up. Hurry up, tractor. Go, 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 go. Come on, Flash. Um, Chris, I can't tell you the name of the track right now, but it um, they got an indoor motocross track that had, had some open practice going on up there. I don't think they actually race. It's just practice. But they do all classes. I need to get the information and when I do get the information I'll share I need to get my other I need to get my videos edited from uh, last year I have you them all forever I know I have them all I just have no ambition to do it uh, I couldn't yeah I couldn't tell yeah. you, Tri uh, Chris. My son's friend goes up there riding. He, I think he went like four or five times this year. And uh, I can't remember the name. Okay. I got to figure something out with... Uh, wrong buttons. With my auto drive course. There's no... Even if I would switch it to be in both directions on the course... It still doesn't act right. It won't read the course ahead and say there's a tractor coming, you should wait here. So I need to figure out if I'm doing something wrong or what. Oh. Already at 300,000 liters and hardly put a dent in it. Do you end up putting a uh, salvage corner on the map? Uh huh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, What about uh, right wet now. distillers? Uh, uh, not wet distillers. I have wet cake. Same thing. Yeah, wet cake. Yeah. That, um, did you put that where it was in um, 17? No idea 17, where yeah. it was. So it was up at the ethanol plant. There's like a shed in the back of the ethanol plant. Oh yeah, that's where it where, used to yep. spawn. And there's a pop. And there's a pipe there. Just have it come out of that pipe. Oh, why do I keep hitting F11? That's the one that turns on. Yeah, that one. At least it doesn't kick you out of the game when you try that. <laughs> Which one's that one? F11. It's the shadow map. No, 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 no. And there's no shadow map on low graphics. Oh, you mean all F4? Mm hmm come on where were you legacy um yeah, yeah that's what I'm waiting for I should make up a fill plane to put it back in here but I never liked it either so it comes out of that yeah. pipe and you can also buy crack corn out of there it was a good spot for it until I get my feed mill in here I, I actually like it there honestly what yeah oh the crack corn yeah the ethanol the what, the, uh, what cake and crack corn will probably stay here for good. Yeah, that, that's pretty good right there. And then, uh, just to put my um, co-op in here somewhere. Yeah, for that, uh, that farm I was working on, I think I'm going to need to make up a uh, thin site swatch. Oh, really? Yeah, the one you were talking about. Yeah. If you remember. Yeah. I don't have anything that would necessarily fit there. And fit well. Even Nick's is a little big. So. Chris, I honestly think that's where they go. I really do. Hey, Jonathan. Thanks for subscribing. He's, uh, what does it feel to say? There is a mountaintop that says tribute to DR Armani. Uh, this is... Yeah, a bit of a nod to the original creator. Yeah. And this was DR Modding's first map he ever made. Yep, he really did a great job on it. Heck of a map. Yeah, for a first try, it is probably Ooh. the best. Yeah, I agree. I 
think I'm gonna head out right now. Alright, uh, Derry. Have a good one. Gonna go get dinner or whatever. Gonna end the night a little early, I think. Yeah. Is it at like six o'clock there? Yeah, I need to grab dinner. Finish up something with homework and hit the hay. Sounds good. See you guys around. Have a good one. Later. You Thanks too. for stopping by. Ah, oh, it's stuck again. <laughs> You're never gonna win, Squatch. Oh, you wanna bet? Yes. Thanks for the heads up, Goofy. Yeah, four more subs, boys. Let's go. Oh, I'm feeling Smash it. that subscribe button. Oh, they have to in order to talk. A real, uh, squatch. I made that on there this time. Squatch. I wasn't letting them get away with it anymore. Uh, I can't believe you. All right, let's see if we can see the animations on this box. It was... All right, quit it. Quit it. Not very good view of the animations. But he had to animate the cylinder. All right. I'll just show you guys quick. If I can catch the truck before it leaves. Come on. Panicking. Still not a good oh, angle. Watch. I made it black so you can't see anything. <laughs> well done. Alright, so the big part about it is every piece of this was separate right here. And uh, he made it so that cylinder as it starts to go tips up and pulls the latch to actually open the box first and then everything tips together it is just the reason why I say and show one he told me to and two he is a perfectionist on the minor details he didn't have to put that little latch in there or nothing but Western Iowa is the one for in the ass Yes, he kills himself a lot with it. Yeah, he d really does. But it's the little details. Very little details. Uh, I hear you, Chris. Um, depends on when I get time and when I get the bike set up to go. I gotta fix, uh, I gotta do some work to his and my two 250s before I take them anywhere. Actually, I need to bring all the bikes home, do a complete service. Oil change, filters, air filters. I gotta get the two new tires mounted on the Yamaha. I gotta get the hole welded in the freaking head. Um, I gotta get the Kawasaki I got get a spring ordered for that to hold my fat ass better and <laughs> um I gotta get that one has a decent tire on it and uh I want to do put some new brake pads and stuff in it I got a lot of work coming up for him but all little things that go pretty quick. I almost bought, I almost bought a 450. I seen it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm like, ooh, that's a good deal. 
and you don't need it though i was like i have to go to work monday i have to go to work monday <laughs> i don't have aflac is that even a thing anymore i haven't seen that in forever i don't know that's what i was wondering Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Goofy. These are huge bunkers, and that's why I made them this big. Come on. Get off of here. Hey, Daniel. How you doing, man? You got that one right, Legacy. But don't give away all your secrets. You got a secret? Uh, I didn't say it. Hey Aaron, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Jonathan, what do you mean by actually got with the job this year? Oh, nice, Chris. Uh, my boy grew too much. I bought him a Honda 125 big wheel. Oh, God, that was last year. Was it last year or this year? I mean, 2022 or 2021. I can't remember. I think it was 2021. And he outgrew the dang thing already. Like, he sits on my 250, no problem. Oh. Well, He'll still need starter blocks, but what I'm getting at is the 125 big wheels is too small for him. I think he needs some more ride time and especially some race time before I could say he's perfectly okay on a 250, but he can't ride that 125 anymore. He's too tall. Drank too much Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna start a diet next week, like Sunday. I had one for about two months and I gave up. <laughs> I gotta but cut I... I gotta cut sugar out. Hey cheesy. The biggest thing for me was anything carb related, so chips and things like that. Oh yeah. Um, it wasn't so much the sweets, like I wasn't eating too much candy. That's the problem. It was more so too many chips and bread. Yep. Yep. Bread is a big, uh, a big issue for me. So, that's where I'm like trying to teach myself and learn. Um, it isn't just the sugars from candy. It isn't pure sugar. Like, I have to give up my carbs that turn into sugar, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I got to start with. That and actually doing more than just sitting in my truck and then coming home and sit and play this. <laughs> yeah, my, my big thing is uh, I always had a morning breakfast, which was all bread. So that was a big issue for me. Yeah. Um, Chris, let... Let me tell you one thing. Um, I wish I would have listened. I really do. The guys we ride with told me I should not buy, I should not take my son from the TTR 90 to uh, 125 like I did. And he said I should have taken him to a 150, Honda 150. Put him right on it. I know it's got a lot of snap and everything and a clutch, but they'll learn quick. And the 150 is slightly bigger than the 125, but where my son outgrew, he outgrew the height of the 125 and the power at the same time. So, unless you know of a good 65 for a reasonable price, I would move him right into a 125 or a 150. 125 is great. I mean, the one I got was. Uh, 
2021. Yeah, 2021. Honda 125. Let me tell you, there is no such thing as whiskey throttle on that. You're not going to pop a wheelie unless you have it wide open, first gear, and dump the clutch. There's there's no corner snap coming out of it. It rides like uh, a dogged out bike. But the thing about it uh, that made me buy it was the warranty, first of all. And it transferred with owners. And then... I couldn't really find anything because that was at the height of the pandemic too. Honda didn't have shit. And I I just went out on a limb and bought it. You could get a small wheel for it too. The 125 small wheels. If he needs the sit lower to the ground. But I wish that's one thing I wish I would have listened to them on. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. The 120... I do have an issue with the 125 on the races, too. Because he's not allowed to race the 85s. The A lot of the races around here were kicking the 125s and 150s out of the 85 class, which is BS. But I get it, too, because the 150s were just smoking the 85s. But then... They had a race up against the 250 class, which they didn't have enough for either. But, I mean, I think your boy would be fine. I get moving him up with the class, but shit. They grow up so fast, man. That ain't even like, I ain't even just saying that. I think my boy grew. God, I'd have to go back and look. I want to say like six inches in a year or a foot. That sounds about right. That's what I did like seventh grade. Yeah, he just shot up all of a sudden. Yeah, it was middle school when it happened for me. It was just like, wow, what the fuck? Yeah. I think I gained like a foot of height in just under two years. Hey, thanks, KJ. I appreciate it, man. Um, go ahead and hit the like button if you like the stream. If you don't like the stream, I don't care. Still hit the like button. Well, you can dislike it, but it does the same thing as a like. So I don't care what they do. do. Either go hit Feel a button. Do either. Just go hit a button. <laughs> I wish I had a button to hit that says "Go push a button." I can probably find you a button that says that. Uh, I I really want to buy a stream deck really bad, but I have no use for it right now. I would just get the mini one, the cheap, like, I think it's like half the price. Uh, I ain't the one to do that anymore. I did that with my Logitech uh, shifter and my Logitech joysticks. And that's why I went all uh, NZXT for my PC setup. If I didn't already have my keyboard, I would have bought a keyboard mouse from them too, but... I said no more of that. I, I can handle it. It's just, uh, I'd, uh, I, I just need to cut back on a few other things. <laughs> like a bike. Uh, my old dirt bikes are old enough. I don't, I, I want to buy a couple new ones, mm -hmm. but I honestly, before I buy a new dirt bike, I'm probably going to buy a uh, crotch rocket just so I got the motor. All I want to do is, what the heck? All I want to do is take the motor and put it into like a uh, go-kart. Make my homemade go-kart, go you know? Oh, Goofy, I'm not dissing Logitech by any means, but I got a Thrustmaster steering wheel and pedals if i would have bought the thrustmaster shifter which was yes double the price it would have hooked into my steering wheel and pedals and i went to needed to buy the adapter so that's kind of why i'm sticking with all one brand well if you go for a mouse i highly recommend the uh, i think it's the g502 logitech uh, mouse 
Okay. Best mouse I've ever bought. Just, it's it's pricey. It's like $125, $150, but it's worth it. Well, see, that's where I'm at too. Is like, I'm I'm not so worried about price. I want quality. Yeah, I wouldn't trade this mouse for any other. It is, I think it's been around for 10 years. It's still the highest oh, wow. rated mouse. It's still the highest rated mouse, 10 years later. And I, I just love it. Because me, Rooster, and Jonah all have it. Fair. Because Jonah recommended it for Rooster, and Rooster recommended it. Okay. You know it's good then, when you yeah. got a couple people recommending it. Yeah, I saw it in the store, I was like, I gotta have that. <laughs> and you can put weights in it, so you can kind of make it how heavy you want. Oh! That's yeah, something I've never even seen before. Yep, so you got you got front you got front and rear weight that you can put into it. I have uh, what is that? Four kilograms of weight in my mouth currently, just to make it a little bit heavier. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything in the back compartment. Goofy, let me tell you, I absolutely love my wheel. I play a lot of other racing driving games besides just FS. And I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. But that's kind of where it stops, is if I was, I mean, I play Battlefield a lot. But if it was me and I had to do it all over again without getting the great deal I had on my steering wheel, I probably would have just went out and bought myself a high dollar controller. Wire, wired controller. Because it would be about um, the same. I bought the Elite Pro Xbox uh, controller, whatever the fuck they have there. Their high-end controller. Yeah. I love it for FS. And I love it for any other game because you have all the uh, rear paddles. You can yep. configure for everything. So, it does what I need it to do right now. I was, nice. I was going to uh, buy that. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck are you doing? Don't dump over there. And I know Todd's gonna come in here and say, no, that's a terrible idea. Buy a cheap air controller. And yeah, he's somewhat right, but I don't um, any... My thing is, I was gonna buy that Elite controller, mm -hmm. and then I found the great deal on my steering wheel and pedals. But, yeah. I mean, if you play a lot of ATS, Farm Sim, uh, Forza, the driving games, the steering wheel's well worth it compared to a controller. But if you're more, um, shoot them games and everything i highly suggest a controller One unless click. I, I, I mean you got to make the steering wheel worth it and if you're not going to play a lot of driving games let's say let's say farm sims the only game that you really drive in then no i wouldn't say a steering wheel is worth it because you can spend a buttload i mean you can get a decent steering wheel and pedals for 200 bucks Maybe if you buy used and stuff, but still. Or you buy on the uh, holiday season. It, it's all, to me anymore, it's about quality. So if I have to save for another six months in order to get the best of the best that I want, then I'm going to. Uh, where? Are those bunkers built with that pack you have? What pack? Or... That, uh, like, uh, piece, that piece by piece uh, set you have, I forget yeah. what that cool set is. That would turn out really nice. I'm really surprised by that. Uh, I cheated. How so? Well, are they just placed there and then you have an actual bunker? Uh huh, uh huh. Well, I was so, going to do that anyway, but that's, that's nice the way that's set up. It, it's kind of funny, and I don't know why. This concrete divider. Mm -hmm. It's like only this in game. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I messed something up, but when I unzipped it and imported it, it came in a one section, three section, and a five section. Mm -hmm. And you do it through GE and you can get it exact how you want it. Interesting. So that's why I really like the looks of it, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I. I could never get it to place right in game, so 
I did it through GE and then I put my trigger here. Uh, yeah, KJ, uh, I, the second I got my steering wheel for FS, I'm like, wow, this is a lot. And you always find yourself reaching over for the mouse. And that's when I decided to buy what the $30 Logitech 3D pros or whatever. And I was like, Ooh, Hey, I could buy two of these for the same price as one of these. I wish I wouldn't have, they're built a little cheaper. They're older tech and everything, but I'm not going away from my joystick ever anymore. Yeah, um, what was the one Nick recommended? It was Turtle, something by Turtle Beach, but I forget what he... Turtle Beach Flight something or Sim Flight or something like that? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, they're like $100, but they're... 150 worth, 150 but they're definitely worth the money. It That one, uh, I am going to next. That is probably the next thing I'm buying. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out what it's next. Probably a steering wheel, and then a similar setup to you and Nick. But uh, it's at least until August, when I move out and get a desk. It is, you know. That's honestly the first thing I got to do is rebuild my desk. I got to make it into a C-shaped desk so it comes around me. And mm -hmm. I got two... I need to suck the steering wheel into my desk, essentially. I want to move the steering wheel in, or the area where I want to put my joysticks need to come out about a good uh, eight inches to a foot. So mm. I'm just going to end up taking a chunk of wood, try to find a nice chunk of hardwood, cut it down to fit exactly on my desk, stain it, and I'm going to cut out where the steering wheel goes and all that. And, and then throw some poly on it. And yeah, I'm just, just going to replace my, oh, hey, there's a trailer there. I'm just going to replace the top of my desk is all I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I just, I wish I would have gone more expensive from the beginning. I think I've had my desk for about a year and I like it. It's a nice L-shaped desk, but I was like, heck with it. You know, that's close enough. I think I'll like that. But if I would have gone with the other desk, that I seen that was twice as expensive. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, that's exactly what I want now. But I can tell you right now, I'll never buy another gaming chair. Yeah, I, I would recommend highly not to get a gaming chair. I bought a um, Aero chair. Oh yeah. Like, for like 350, 400. I love this chair. Oh, I, I, I don't, don't blame get you. I don't get uncomfortable in this chair. That's right. KJ. If you're, sitting, if you're sitting in like a chair, you know, you, you slowly get kind of painful and oh, yeah. you don't sit right. KJ, I don't blame you. Uh, I think I had mine for what? Four years? My lap? Well, I still got my laptop. But I think it was going on four years. And when I bought it, it wasn't top of the line or new by any means. But hey, it worked. And it still works great. It's just sitting over there on sleep mode nonstop. You'll use it eventually. Oh, I have plans for it. I just gotta get everything to the way I like it and make sure I got all my files off it. You can always use it as like a secondary um, like streaming. Oh, I thought about that too, but mm -hmm. honestly, the way this computer performs, I just need a third monitor. Oh, you still haven't got your third monitor? No, I got my two. I'm not oh, okay. putting that TV on this at all. It looked way too bad. So either I'm going to go with uh, three or four monitors, but I like the thought of three more than four. Yeah, I'm running my laptop, my 27-inch, uh, and then my 28-inch. So. Mm, yep. So I'm watching your stream on my 28-inch, 20, because that's still 70 hertz per second. Oh, yeah. The middle monitor is 
140, and then the laptop is 240. Yep. So I play like shooting games and things like that on the 240. Front and center, there's games that don't require that FPS on the middle, and the right is the viewing monitor. Gotcha. Yeah, the only thing the right one does is YouTube usually. And even I figured. Then I watch in I watch in a 144p. So. Oh yeah. I I I don't know. It's what I really need to do is build a wall down here and <laughs> soundproof it and get a green screen before I get a camera, and yeah. that way I got my little room that she can't hear anything in. I don't piss her off, and I can be as loud as I want. All right, yeah. come on. That'll be a nice thing about getting my own apartment by myself, is I can kind of do whatever I want at all times at night. It is. It is really nice until your neighbors start freaking out on you, or you have the loud neighbors. <laughs> yep. I am definitely going to have a top floor apartment. Already decided that one. Uh, no. No. How many built or how many stories are you thinking? Two. It's a little tiny town is where I'm going. Oh. I'm not going. If it's only a two story, then yes, take a top. Yep. Because the town, the town that the college is actually in is only about 700. Mm. Okay. So, because there's I a couple different, couple different apartment places, but. Not oh, I know why they're going that way. They think it's shorter. Stupid auto drive. There's a fence there. You can't park there. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> tell that to You're auto welcome. drive. That was more so who I was telling with auto drive. Right. I know. But, um... Oh, fuck. What was the previous conversation? <laughs> About your apartment. Oh, what were you going to say about that? You had something you wanted to say. Uh, after living in some three-story hotel rooms, mm -hmm. it ain't worth it to be on the top floor, carrying all your shit in and out nonstop. Oh, yeah. I, uh, especially doing it every single week, and it sucks because the week is not even. So, you know, Friday... Or Saturday, I'd leave, come back Sunday, or Monday, and you're like, this is fucking stupid. Yep. Uh, where is my... Ah... Come on, where's my stuff at? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it is the maximum detour, but... I should have bought that 12 pack twisted teas. I'm in the mood to keep drinking. Yeah, KJ, um, honestly, I get what you mean by stacking money and everything, but he's going to college in a different town. Wait, you don't know where. But, no. go ahead. So, for those who don't know, I'm going to law school, and there's, there's not a law school in town. Um, there is a college. I'm going there. I ended up paying not a dime. I didn't pay a dime for my uh, bachelor's degree. But, um... But, wh wherever you go, for school. college, for law school, you will have to move out of your parents' house. Yeah. And it's going to cost me a little bit, but it's not going to cost me as much. No, but, I, I mean, I get where KJ's coming from, too. It's just, man, I couldn't wait to move out of my parents' house. And then oh, all I of a sudden, wait. 
oh, you wait. Then all of a sudden you realize, hey, I have to go buy my own groceries. I have to, oh, wait, I drank all that. I got to go get it. Oh, hey, I got to cook. Oh, hey, that's right. I got to freaking clean, too. That's what I miss the most about living at home. Mm -hmm. You had so many more people to share it with. It is really nice living on your own, but at the same time. Yeah, I plan on coming back home, getting a job here for our local town for roughly three years, two years after law school, pay off a lot of that debt. And then after that, uh, moving up north. Yeah. So, on Gilmar Z, it's the ethanol plant. Does the second bay do anything? The what? The production point? This, you know how there's two bays at the ethanol plant? There's one and two? Yeah. Two used to be the uh, wet dig producer. I don't think it is that way anymore. So all of his productions on the map, even if you buy the land, don't actually produce anything. I don't know okay. how that's wrote in. I haven't tested any other cell point but the ethanol plant for sure. Well, I have tested. I made sure they work. They sell. But you can't produce anything um, and turn around and sell it. So I don't know what his deal was with that. But... Um, what H is talking about is down here at the ethanol plant, you got these two cell points. I went in and renamed them where I got to find that one crop right here. I think it's only corn mm -hmm. that is accepted at the other one. So I got Suncor ethanol cell and suncor ethanol so i could distinguish which side is what mm -hmm. suncor ethanol so, cell is the left side which the signs do say cell and the right side says production which is suncor ethanol and that's all i was like testing is trying to figure out what is this why is it like that and essentially it's just another cell point okay i was just kind of confused to be honest i think he had it I, I, this isn't his latest version, just so you know. The one you're playing on? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm I don't know. Version, so. You are on his newer one? Yeah. We will get all that stuff if we finish the files over. Okay, I gotta transfer it to yours then. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. I just, uh, I don't know if you've seen a difference on it. Did he? No, I haven't seen a difference for that. I would make the other side uh, your dry corn cell no point. It is. Yeah. And still will be dry corn. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm i not sure why DJ did that. I'd have to ask him. I just think it's kind of interesting. With all the uh, production points that don't act like production points. You know? That's what I was getting at. Yeah. When I go through, I'm going to get rid of a lot of these, though. Like, the strip yeah. mall, I don't feel like we need to sell that at. I don't want oatmeal, which no. I don't know if that's base game. Pasta. I don't do production points. Oh. No, no interest in them, personally. I think it's a cool aspect of the game. I forgot he added that stuff. Corn, gluten, soybean meal, and canola meal. That's cool, the, the soybean meal, especially. I might have to work that into Maze Plus. Yeah, that would be cool. I, I know one of them's production points produces that. I can't remember what he said. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure that one out. But, um, the big thing is not making them... I, all right, let me rephrase that. I wanna make the production points he has in here so you don't have to buy the land like he has it. So you're going to sell a crop there, and then you're going to be able to buy a crop or buy a product from them. And yeah. you don't necessarily have to sell it in order to buy a product, but like to 
be able to sell soybeans at a factory and then you get the soybean meal back, that's how I want to set it up. Yep. So you don't necessarily have to produce your own soybean meal and then it at essentially it's just the wash at the end of the year. Well, yeah, maybe a little less expensive for the meal. You still make money, but um, not a whole lot less. Correct. I mean, they're they're double dipping. They're buying your co or soybeans and they're selling two, three, maybe four products out of your soybeans, and they are still selling the soybean meal and making money off it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck, KJ? I feel for you, man. That would suck. I went through, not right away when I graduated, but similar stuff working for my dad. You know what they say, either you work great with family or you don't work with family at all. I shouldn't have worked with family at all. I can tell you that one. Chris, I, I get TikTok sent to me all the time, but I do not have the app and I don't care for the app. Simply because I know what China is doing. Yeah. If it wasn't fully based under China government, that would be a different story. Hey, Seth. Yeah, I, uh, I have it. I don't use it. <laughs> I thought about it. But honestly, I watch enough that is converted over to Facebook. And then... Uh, YouTube Shorts has been really good. Is what I've been using. YouTube Shorts is usually my go-to, but that's only when I get service. I don't have service all day at work, so therefore, it is touch and go on what I get to see around there. Or get a uh, Starlink from Elon and put that on the roof. That. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. I'm waiting for a diesel pickup from work, and hopefully, it's new enough that it has its built-in Wi-Fi. I'm going to be telling my boss that too. Instead of using my portable hotspot on my phone all the time, why don't you just get me a truck with Wi-Fi? And then I won't have to worry about it. We uh, have, sir. <laughs> goofy. I spend my entire day either on Snapchat, Facebook, or YouTube Reels. I can't say that. Any free time I get. Yep. I, or, uh, I always go down the rabbit hole of YouTube shorts. Maybe. Yeah, before you know it, too much time has gone by. Yeah. I still do that. I've jumped on my computer a couple times and realized I spent an hour just constantly clicking on that arrow for uh, the reels. And I'm like, okay, that's got to go. Yeah, and like, you can just scroll for hours and not realize it. It's like, wait, where'd all that time go? Right. Oh, hey, I forgot to bring my web page back up. We make it there yet, boys? Or are we still sitting just under? Ah, two subscribers. Man. One. I got one here. You got 999. All right, I got to click refresh again. Obviously, they don't. Yep. Obviously, they don't come all uh, through Streamlabs all the way. That's not. Might be a little slow. Legacy, you get your alt account on here, damn it. If you didn't, I'm going to have to smack you. Give me a second. You want me to subscribe on the uh, YouTube account? I could care less. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it looks good with three nines, but I just... You hit it, and then everybody... Or then you get, like, ten people that unsubscribe right yeah. after I hit I it. Had, I had that. Yep, I had that the other day. Not the other day, but when I was doing it. God damn it, guys. <laughs> Get it, Legacy. You better hurry up. Wait, you have to be subscribed. Did I not turn um, that on? Yeah, some, said, some people said you didn't have that on. Oh. I also, thought I did. you need to throw in um, the stubble for the oats. I don't have that on here. Oh, yeah, I'll get that. 
Yeah, wheat, wheat and barley, I think, are on here, but not Wheat oats. and barley, not oats. I might tell G DJ that real quick. I don't think he planned on oats, though, did he? Well, it's something that we harvest every single time at the start of the game. Uh, honestly, that's the only time I harvest them. Yeah. But, like, 99% of the time, people are only going to play in August, to be honest, for the first couple months. Right. Woo! We made it, boys. Made it. Thanks, baby legacy. <laughs> <laughs> he literally oh. just hurried up and made an account for that. No, no, no. no, no. Look at the three. It's all the four legacy ag. <laughs> legacy. I know. Three of them. What the fuck? I know. It, it's comical, though. <laughs> there were four of them. Wait, wait, wait. Did you really make a account for your daughter? That would be awesome if you did. Ooh. For the little one. Was not paying attention. Oh. Call the insurance adjuster. Uh, I don't want to know the bill on that one. That's what, yeah. I told you you made an account for her. Come on, where are you going? Baby leg. <laughs> That would have been even better. He got you on that one, Legacy. You know what I realized? I didn't even have it set up right for what side of the wagons to load on. It always drove me nuts because in real life, you load on the right side of the chopper. Mm-hmm. But the, for whatever reason, course play, auto drive, anything they make in game only wants to load on the right, right uh, left side of the chopper. Mainly yeah, because I, I think, think the would. augers, but there's definition change for the, for the um, chopper compared to combine that you could essentially just do it different, you know? Because usually you want to be always on the right side where the controls are. Yeah, so they never have to look over their left shoulder. That's why it drives me nuts. It would look weird as crap right now. But why didn't the combines put the auger on the right side? Instead, you got the auger coming from the... Um, um, missing That's the funny. words. The uh, Well, no, the auger from the thresher. I'm sure I'm missing. I almost There's positive... I'm sure there's a reason why. I'm almost positive I'm missing a... Oh god. That is annoying. Uh, automatic. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't do it anyways because I have course play set up wrong. I'd have to redo course play as counterclockwise. Yay. So it's going to be the way it is. You guys can yell at me for it blowing through the side of the wagon. Hey, thanks, pickaxe. It, it's actually something that I was looking forward to a lot it isn't even like yay I'm making money off YouTube I could care less about that it was just like one of those goals I wanted to hit and now I'm gonna disappear number. forever funny number all I can say what Funny number, you know, you go 1K. Yeah, funny number, what number? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, now you get the fun task of going back and cooking every video to, to monetize. Oh, really? It's fun. Yeah, you have to manually activate every single one. Oh, what the shit fuck. They did that yeah, on it, purpose, you know that, right? Yes, yes, they did. I'll get to and that at some it's not point. Just like, it's not just like, click on the button, tell them to monetize. No, you have to go through and hit approve. Yes, I want to monetize. Yes, yes, like five or six times. They made it really difficult for some unknown reason. Oh, I know why. Because they didn't want uh, you to uh, just have a click all, monetize all. Mm hmm. They ain't stupid. I'm sure they have made plenty of money by doing that. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, just think about how long you and I were under one sub, or 1K subs, and how much money they got off our videos. I'd click on one of my videos to, like, just double check I had it right or something. And I'd have to watch mm -hmm. a stupid ad for five seconds. I'm like, this is stupid. Yeah, they don't make any money from me. Ad block is best block. <laughs> I still got to get that one on the PC. Yep. I think Rooster said Firefox is the way to go nowadays, but... That's what he know. said, but... I haven't downloaded it yet. I gotta get all my uh, bookmarks off of um, Chrome. Yeah, that's a big thing for me. When I transfer, I gotta get all that stuff. And I mean, we're just two people. If we both said that, think mm -hmm. of how many people didn't switch from Chrome just because of that. Yeah, I like Chrome, but if they end up getting rid of Adblock, I am definitely leaving. Because Firefox is the only one that's going to have the ability to block ads, apparently. So Cute. Yeah, Firefox is the way to go. I already have that installed and ready to go. And then the other thing is, I still have Adobe Flash on this computer. Mm -hmm. And every time I restart it, it prompts me to uninstall, and I'm like, fuck no. I'm not getting rid of Adobe Flash. Because <laughs> it is really useful when you go to a website like pre-2016 or even 2015, and they have the old Adobe Flash necessary add-on or whatever. Oh, yeah. To watch your video. Yeah, I, I need Adobe Flash. 100%. All right, what the heck just happened there? God, how much is that corn yielding? What do you mean? It seems like you're filling that bunker really quickly. I got two of the biggest wagons, and that semi box holds more than the wagons. Mm -hmm. Like what you've done there took me like all of my fields on Westy. I think I had like 1.8 million liters on Westy. And I think you've done more than that already. Or no, maybe not. You're at least halfway there. I... Alright, so we're only getting like 70-80% yield. Mm -hmm. I thought when I clicked that one in to the silage corn, I thought mm -hmm. I clicked it to be fully full fertilized, lined, plowed, and all that stuff. So I don't yeah, know what the deal need... is with precision farming there, but... Because you need, you need it rolled, you need it mulched, oh, yeah, you need it that's plowed, right. you need it uh, fertilized, you need it um, not full of weeds. There's a shit ton of stuff you gotta do. I forgot all about that. Yeah, mulching is the dumb one to me. <laughs> that's a good one, Legacy. I like that. You better go show <laughs> Parker. It was all for her. Oh, come on. Quit fighting me on it, damn it. Yeah, that blade sometimes really wants to fight. With it, it isn't just the blade. It's oh, it any... Isn't? No, it's the way they have it built in. Yeah. Because it says when you get a full 
blade load, what they need to do is, even if it's turned straight, it still needs to spill off the sides, but their script isn't set, like, realistic. Going straight, it's still going to spill off the sides. It's going to push hard, but it wouldn't stop you completely. No, you would spin out more than you would completely stop. So that's kind of where I'm like, you guys could have made it a little easier on the people playing the game. Did you uh, change your sync rate to the map? How far you sync into the silage? Nope. I changed right. it for Maze Plus. Oh, okay. So that's like one conversation we're going to hold before. I think we're going to run Maze Plus on the server. So you're going to have to teach me, but I think we're going to... We're gonna have to run it. Uh, the only reason not to. No, no. the only reason I don't want to run it is due to the side uh haylage and oh, the yeah. way the bunkers work. I absolutely hate hate the way the bunkers work. Okay, I. But I well, don't know. I we're not going to. No, I meant with like haylage. If you have mm -hmm. a, if you have a stand up silo. Maze Plus is the way to go. I like the options for, okay, hey, I want to do realistic feeding. I have everything I'm willing to spend the money. Or, hey, I don't have shit. I'm just going to do, like, a baseline. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm at. Where if we go without Maze Plus, we don't have the options to choose. We have that one option to make TMR, and that's it. Well, you can always set stuff to zero. So that's not required. You can, but it still shows up. And my only other thing I like about Maze Plus is being able to see the HUD. Yeah, I, I think there's like a mixer HUD thing that you can have too. Is there? Mm -hmm. I, I thought I that was only in 19. Other. No, I thought if you got close to the mixer with your F1 menu open, it would show. I, I have that mod somewhere. I have to look for it. I think that's somewhat a maze that. plus ain't not in maze no, plus I, I think it's uh farmer agency or whatever yeah that would be the one thing to keep on there i don't know we'll discuss it because mm -hmm. i got i still gotta buy the tanks on the save i got to get my commodities in the shed Because, I mean, it sounds like a lot of work, but what I'm going to be doing is... Oh, yeah. What I'm going to be doing is loading up that truck I got there, or the semi, of the fermented silage. Haul it inside. Then I have it inside. But I have no intentions on using haylage on this uh, farm. Because I mm. hate the way the haylage works in the silage bunker. And it is strictly haylage that doesn't act right. Maze silage works fine. Wow, I hit a thousand subs and I dropped ten viewers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 20, 20 viewers. You were at 43. Oh, was I really? Yeah. Crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. It's late. Everybody on the East Coast is what? 10 o'clock almost yeah almost and I'm at night almost 9 o'clock and it's a Thursday night god if I was in college I was, yeah it'd be Thursday Thursday yep I got a final tomorrow and I'm not paying any attention to it that <laughs> or not a final but an exam you should probably study it's really not gonna be that hard oh yeah, the notes for it are like, I can read over them in five minutes, so they're not, it's not that bad. Stupid trailer. The mirrors do not have the sticker saying things in the mirror are farther than, or closer than they appear. It's only on the right side, Twatch. It all depends on what mirror style you have. Oh, really? Yeah, concave or convex. So... Which way is it again? Usually in cars, it's the right side. I know, but what is the right side convex or concave? 
I don't know. I can't I remember know. either. Hey Lee, how you doing, man? <laughs> uh, Chris, I, I don't think it's any offense. I think it's all of what happens in, or happened in the world. I can say the same thing because it's not even just college, man. It was like every night. I went through a year straight of every night but Monday night. No, I even went out Monday night. It was Tuesday night that I always took off. That was the only night that entire year that I didn't drink every week. And I, trust me, after going to work like that and then going out Monday night and then going to work Tuesday, yeah, it was time to catch up on sleep. It was time to get rid of the hangover. And, well, I lived. I made it through it all, but that was, uh, what's it called? Yes, and... <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me think. That was the year of my accident. Uh-oh. Yeah. So I can say that was, like, honestly the best year of my life. One full solid year from start to finish. Funnest time I ever had, but, man, I went through a lot of um, problems that year. You paid for it. My accident wasn't even the worst issue I went through, man. <laughs> no shit. No. No. I I was a troublemaker. Oh, just watch. Nobody liked me. I, I shouldn't say that. The, the, the police officers didn't like me. They usually don't. No. No, they don't. Oh, that's a perfect excuse, Chris. Perfect excuse. I'd be all over that, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just trying to think of, like, how old he could be, Chris could be, if he was getting 50, uh, 50 cent draft beer. Because I think if I remember correctly, one of the bars in town had $2 pitchers for draft beer. Yeah, they weren't the like full-size pitchers, but they're still mini pitchers. I think like three drinks in them. I can tell you right now though, H, like, I know you don't go out a whole lot, but ever since COVID, I don't hear of like uh, a lot of people going to the bar anymore. And it isn't just COVID. No, I, I mean, Tinder and Snapchat, TikTok, all of that. They just don't go out. That's what I have heard, too. It has been weird. No one does anything. Right. It used to be like we had the bars that were doing something on a Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. And yeah, no, they, one, no, one, no one goes to the bar anymore. That's what I'm weird. getting at. It's really weird. No. Well, people don't do shit no more. It's really, I guess everyone has gone it gone to be uh, introverted Virtual? rather than no, I, introverted. I think it's more everybody being online. I really do. I think True. it, like, you don't have to go to the bar to meet somebody anymore. No. That's what I'm saying, Jonathan. Like, the last time I've been to a good bar with, like, a lot of people I knew just hanging out and there was a DJ and everybody was just having fun until the bar fight started and got kicked out and dealing with the cops at night and everything. But I, it's been a long time. Oh, I fully understand. It's not as big of a risk. When... <laughs> Whoa. 
long finish that now. Uh-uh. When what? <laughs> I guess that you got a point, Chris. They all wait. They all pregame and wait to go out until really late at night. But I I don't live in a, near a big city to be like, what are the clubs doing anymore? The only, I guess the last time I've been to a good bar was 2020. Winter of 2020 and 2021 when I was working in Florida. And that was mainly because Florida wasn't shut down and um, during COVID and also spring break time. So, of course, that was like the place to be. But anywhere locally, it's been tough. I don't even know why that is. Oh, they don't even pregame. That's just sad. So all we're doing now is shots. Probably. Tequila. On your, your wait. On your twenty-first date, you're gonna have to go to a, a bar and just sit there. I would say go in at um, about 2 o'clock, sit through happy hour. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying get drunk as fast as you can. I'm saying just go in, sit at happy hour, buy the drink specials, have a few, hang out, and slowly make your way all the way through the night. <clears throat> but don't pick like a downtown bar restaurant type thing. Find a small town bar and just hang out. You'll see... I think you'll have more fun people watching than anything. Yeah, people watching has always been fun. Because you'll get damn near... If you go to the right town at the right time and stay in there all night, you get the crowd that... All right, early early supper. I'm coming in. Or, I mean, you get happy hour, then early supper. I'm coming in, get a few drinks. I'm going to see who's here. And I'm going to eat some bar food for supper. And after that, then you get those people leaving. Usually about 9 o'clock, the young crowd cr comes crawling in. They usually stay all night. And then you get some of the older ones that get drunk and rowdy because they didn't eat enough for supper. And <laughs> so I got Jaden Jaden turn 18 again? Yeah. He's uh, 16 now, so two yep. years from now. So he'll turn, I think he turns 18, <laughs> six, six months after I turn 21. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're going to have to figure out how to go uh, go to him. You know, is it kidnapping if they're over 18? They're technically adult then. If he gives Even... to it, then not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> is that really kidnapping? No, we we get consent. We make him sign paper first with his no. fingerprints. <laughs> In his handwriting. Yes. Bad, like Mark, I doubt Mark and Jonah would be able to make it. Sadly. Oh, yeah. you're talking a couple years. I, I mean... Yeah. Mark's going to be busy for sure. I know that. I bet we could get him away for two days. Probably. Because it wouldn't take that long to go from Mark's place to Jono's and to get Tyson to meet us at the Jono's. Mm hmm You just gotta get a passport. If we go to Quebec, they're not gonna understand a damn thing. I know. <laughs> That's the I one know. scary part. Oh, well, put it this way, Colton. I almost got 850,000 liters in this bunker. I would say she's about half full, maybe a little more. So let's say 65% full. That's almost 2 million liters. And... It goes in really nicely. Yeah, I've always liked the way they've done that. And I'm about halfway through the field. Fill the bunk more than likely. I want to fill this bunk, and the only issue is it's silage corn on that field. So now I know, like, 
a baseline. Yeah. Yeah. Now you could figure. See, I don't like it because it's figuring this field in too on your hedger mm -hmm. acres. Or does it yep. actually say acres? Come on. There it is. 20 acres. Do you, do you have, oh, you don't have the uh, the additional field info. Where you I do. Have a, uh, I don't know why it doesn't come on. Three and six. Give me a second. So, so field three there is roughly 15 acres or hectares, whatever the heck it is. Why is it saying field four? Go away. We're on field three. Why is it saying six now? Because it's got a towel throw. Thirty-five point six three acres. Okay. Yep, thirty-five. So from 35 acres, you get roughly enough to fill a bunk. That's what I was, like, testing here. Yeah. So that means everything else, I, well, I'm going to see what it takes because yeah. I got the other fields to harvest yet in October, or excuse me, October, and then, uh, and then I'm going to turn around and plant this field to wheat right away in the beginning of October so I can get the straw off it and possibly do some um, silage corn back on it then in mm, the spring yeah. I want to see I want to get through that before I go on a server I don't want to try that on the server just yet so that's why I'm keeping it to a minimum on this save just to see like what it takes and then what is it going to take me to get through winter or possibly a full year? I know I don't like the haylage on um, silo bunks, but if I need to put a stand-up silo somewhere to do haylage, I always could. That's always like a secondary option, but I think with a thousand head of cows, I'm going to need everything I could possibly do for hay. Mm-hmm. So I was planning on selling you hay as well. I'm gonna put a couple fields into grass. Okay. Up in that uh, that north corner. So I I plan on making some for you. All right. Until I uh, until I get maybe a pasture down. But we'll see. Well, see, uh, the way we're going on the server, it's gonna mm -hmm. take me a while to expand to be able to buy hay. Is what I yeah. would say but it wouldn't hurt to like have you custom mow some of mine and put it up. Yeah, I plan on working for you like part time or whatever. All right. If you need my help or whatever, kind of like what we were doing on the left. Yeah. If you remember? Yeah. Because I probably won't go a whole lot of crops. I might, I might actually turn my pasture into more of a beef pasture. So I got good income without waiting for cows mm -hmm. to be milked, but I don't know. We'll see yeah, what happens. We'll, we'll have to see. I still want to find it, like... Hey, thanks, Chris, yeah, for coming. Uh, thanks, oh. Chris, for stopping by. I appreciate it. See you later, Chris. Oh, Colton, D.O.T. caught ya. Um, I think... I think this area would be pretty decent to... That rear pasture? This one, right here. So, if I move my road a little bit closer to the building, I still want that mm -hmm. to pull the semi through. But if I came over here... Mm -hmm. I could almost put down a beef lot. Not like yep. anything crazy huge or nothing. Like a lazy's one that I was using on that map. Yeah. Kind of smaller one. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's kind of what I was thinking is to be able to fatten out the Holstein steers. Mm -hmm. 
or maybe I just m make this pasture smaller to about right here and then I'd put it here. I haven't quite decided on which way I'd go yet, but that's later on I down the road. Pasture being nice and big, but we'll have to see. I know. I don't know why I'm getting such a lag for some reason, unless it's it's a stutter in my mouse. Probably. Like always, and I see that didn't fix itself. I moved the straw. Oh, I know why it didn't. I got my straw plane set and. The XML. Yep. I was dumb. Come on, Foch. And that needs to go down a couple more. No biggie. I'll pull it back into GE when I put it through the other map, but I was just checking on it. Do you know what time uh, BJ plans on releasing? I might have to hit him up about that. Not a clue. Yeah, I want to get a post ready for that. Oh, that's awesome. Cute. There you go, right away. <laughs> I hear you, Colton. Oh, five over. He was just looking for somebody, though, man. All right, guys. Over. Yeah. All right, guys. I got to call it a night. I have to get up for work early again tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys stopping in tonight, chit-chatting with me, and um, getting me to 1,000 subs. I can't thank you guys enough for sticking it out with me. Have a good night, and until next time.